Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to React with Paul. Today, we're going to be reacting to rudest things fans have done to Stray Kids. Uh, I hope I don't get really upset at this video because if you guys followed my Stray Kids journey so far, you guys know that I absolutely love Stray Kids. I, I just, yeah, I love them a lot. <laughs> um so yeah this 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 uh, i don't need to say much but yeah <laughs> all right guys but before we get into this video i want to encourage everybody to go on to my patreon here is a preview of what you will be getting on my patreon <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Is so dope. Look at that. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, I just. All right, guys, now that you've seen what you'll be getting, I hope you guys join my Patreon and see all the good things that I have my Patreon on my Patreon. Trust me, it's better on my Patreon, guys. All right, now without further ado, let's get right into this video. Yeah. How incredibly rude and disrespectful fans can be towards the idols they claim to love is astounding. Stays, the fandom name for Stray Kids fans, can be very supportive and loving towards the group, but sometimes they cross the line. In July of 2023, Estee went viral for her video call with Felix for all the wrong reasons. While many fans what? use this op what? opportunity to praise their idol, ask for advice, or tell a funny story to make their idol smile, this fan used her experience to make Felix visibly uncomfortable. The fan call started seemingly innocently, with the fan and Felix chatting about food, when the fan suddenly asked, so, you like to have dessert before dinner? Understandably, Felix didn't know the fan's question was an inappropriate innuendo, so he tried to find a reasonable way to answer that he sometimes does. The fan then said, no, I mean, I'm the dessert. Felix was obviously shocked by the fan's response, but before he could process the fan's statement, she added, so did I just remind you who I am? As soon as the clip was posted on Twitter, many fans and netizens were taken aback by the fan's behavior. They were angry because Felix seemed genuinely excited to talk about food, but his whole mood changed when the fan made the horrible comment. The majority of them agreed that it was disgusting to make comments that would make idols so uncomfortable. Fans also argued that other fans should use the few minutes on a video call to praise the idol or just talk about ordinary yeah. things instead of being straight up disgusting. They pointed out how idols should be able to end the video call or leave when the fans are being disrespectful. That is true. That is true. They should be able to do that. Or rude. Even though Felix dealt with the situation with a smile on his face, many fans couldn't even watch the fan call without getting uncomfortable. The toxic beauty standards of the K-pop industry are often discussed among K-pop fans. Many have raised concerns about the extreme lengths idols will go to just to reach those standards. Weight <laughs> is a very sensitive topic to many people, but Bang Chan wasn't afraid to shut down a malicious fan making rude comments about his physique. Good. Good. During one of the episodes of Chani's Room, the topic of weight was brought up when Bong Chan read a comment that said, Chan, don't get fat. Understandably, many fans were shocked to see the comment and immediately began to defend the idol. Bong Chan himself addressed the comment saying, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being fat. Thank you. Thank you. 
Jeez. He then went on to explain that weight gain for him was something important since he wanted to build his muscles. He added that because he has fast metabolism, he has to eat a lot so he can start building his physique. <laughs> Bang Chan then talked about his eating and exercising habits, and many fans thought that it seemed like he was trying to justify what he just said after reading the comment. Even though his response to the rude comment was very calm, fans definitely weren't on the same line. Many thought that it was very dis- Bro, just leave the man alone, man. He loves food, he loves food. Leave him alone. Jeez. The rude comment was very calm. Fans definitely weren't on the same line. Many thought that it was very disrespectful to Bong Joon. <laughs> exactly. Since he opened up about his... <laughs> True. I mean, ain't not, ain't nothing wrong with gaining weight. Like, come on, dude. These people, they got. Just leave Stray Kids alone. Leave Bang Chen alone, man. Let let him live this life the way he wants to live it, bro. Seriously. Very disrespectful to Bang Chan since he opened up about his struggles with food and weight in the past. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The idol was also praised for explaining that gaining weight is something to not be ashamed of. A lot of idols often talk about dieting and having to lose weight before comebacks, so stays were pleasantly surprised to see Bong Chan's positive take on weight gain. The group's popularity has been soaring in the past years, and while it's very rewarding to see their hard work and dedication pay off, their appearances in public can get dangerous just because of how many people come to see them. It's not unusual for fans to come greet their favorite idols at the airport, but those situations can get out of hand very quickly. In June of 2022, Stray Kids arrived back in Korea after they completed their concerts in Kobe and Tokyo for their Maniac tour. Instead of a warm welcome from their fans, the fans and the reporters flocked to the group, mobbing them on their way out of the airport. The crowd quickly turned messy, with people desperately trying to get a chance at the group, which resulted in Han getting caught up in the mob and falling down on the floor. In oh, many of no. the videos shared online, the bodyguards are heard urging people not to push. Bro. and fans asking Han if he was okay after he <laughs> fell. It seems like Han hurt his elbow in the process because he was seen mm. gripping his arm in pain all while the reporters took pictures like nothing was happening. Thankfully, his injury didn't- Oh, that sucks, man. You're, you're an idol and nobody cares what happens to you when something happens to you. They just rather just take pictures of you. Oh, look, look, this happened. So wrong, bro. It seemed serious as he was then seen waving to their fans to assure them that he was okay. Still, many stays condemned this type of behavior as something way more serious could have easily happened. They also noted that Han has previously struggled with anxiety and to be more respectful when greeting yeah, them. Yeah, thank you. Give the idols a personal space. <sighs> at the airport. Just a few months prior in January of 2022, the same thing happened as well when the group was mobbed at the airport in Seoul. The second the group began to walk through the airport, a massive group of fans flocked to them, making it almost impossible for the boys to walk. At one point, the boys had to hold on to each other so they wouldn't get swayed by the crowd. Fans who watched the mob happen in real time through a live stream were extremely concerned, especially after Felix was seen tripping and falling while entering the gates. Although none of them addressed what happened at the airport, Bang Chan removed his profile picture on Bubble shortly after the incident. Many fans speculated that this could be a subtle way to express his disappointment with what happened. Stays have been urging JYP Entertainment to strengthen their security measures for a long time. Not only because stray kids have been hurt and mobbed at the airport, but also because there have been actual threats towards their well-being. The most Ooh, who would threaten stray kids? What the heck? Who would do that? serious one happened in July of 2022 when the situation got so bad that the police got involved. A stray kid's auntie posted a series of threatening tweets on Twitter, tweeting about physically hurting
Dude, this is so effed up, bro. So effed up. The members or bringing the biggest. What? Bro, whoever the hell this is, bro. Hmm. This is making my blood boil, like. Leave the guys alone. Why are you like that? Leave them alone. Weapon they own to see the group at the concert in Oakland. Immediately, Stace found the tweets and they quickly began to report the tweets and the account, with a lot of them also reporting it to the group's agency and the authorities. The Oakland Police Department posted on Twitter that additional. Stray kids are a group that makes people happy. They're an amazing group. I love them so much. I don't know who or why anybody would try to do this to them. That is so messed up. National officers would be present at the venue and that they were in touch with the FBI as well. Thankfully, the venue's security restrictions didn't allow any metal items in the arena, and both the group and fans managed to have a fun night despite the initial fear. The urges to strengthen their safety and protection measures became desperate in July of this year when there was an alleged attempt to harm the members with a laser pointer. The incident happened during one of their fan sign events in China. It began with an account on the platform Weibo making concerning what? No. <laughs> Bro, you guys are weird. The platform Weibo making concerning statements <laughs> that threatened Felix and Hyunjin, which appeared online in June. This really upsets me, guys. This really upsets me. If you guys follow me on my Stray Kids journey, you guys know how much I love them. This is very, 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 very upsetting. The post included pictures that were edited to appear disturbing as well as Bro, some people are just so stupid. Was misinformation about Hyunjin. The post accused Hyunjin of physically hurting what? Felix or having a I don't know what this is all about, but still, like, <laughs> whatever Yunjin has going on in his personal life, in his romance, romantic life, like, it, it's him. It's only for him to know. Like, if he wants to bring his romantic life out to the public, then it should be his decision. This is just wrong. This is just wrong a workplace romance with two females at the same time. The account's post threatened to point lasers at Felix and other members who were nominated by other <laughs> users in the comments. Lasers can be extremely dangerous since they can cause permanent vision loss within a few seconds. Stays were afraid that the owner of the account and the people who reacted to the threatening post would actually attend the fan sign. Despite calling out to JYP to take action, <laughs> it seemed like Bong Chan and Felix ended up being targeted by a laser after the event ended. In the video, fans are heard calling Bong Chan's and Felix 
Felix's names as green lights flashed around them. Wow. It seemed like the main targets were Bong Chan and Felix, along with the staff members that were present. Stays didn't hold back from sharing their anger, especially after they sent many warnings and emails to the company about the possible laser attack. Although JYP claims to be doing its best at protecting its artists from outside harm, Stays feel like the agency isn't doing enough. It seems like the latest victim of a laser attack might be Eno. The video was posted on TikTok on August 21st, and it appears that <laughs> Eno's eye was hit directly Ooh. by a laser during their appearance at Cake. Bro, why are people so mean? Just leave the poor guys alone. All they're trying to do is bring happiness to this world. Like, leave them alone. On LA 2023, one of the stays that attended the show posted a video of Eno walking down Ooh. the aisles full of fans, and fans' concerns grew immediately after they noticed a possible laser dot directly in his eye. They started to point out the laser on the OP's TikTok, who actually replied to a few of the comments stating that they were sitting next to the stationary cameraman and that they're hoping that it's just a green light from the camera crew. The video still trended across social media, with many fans adding the hashtag JYPE leader of disappointment to show off their anger. To them, the agency hasn't done a good enough job of protecting the members from possible attacks. Other fans decided to see if the light could be something else, and many pointed out that it could be a phenomenon that's often found in pictures. of ghosts. A small light orb appears if a picture is taken with a strong light source coming in. Because there were so many lights and cameras at KCON, it's more likely that this is just an orb and not an actual laser. We've said this a lot of times, but here's another reminder that these idols are just humans and none of this behavior is ever acceptable or justified. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you for watching. Yeah, no, guys, this, this made me really upset. Like, why, why would you attack stray kids? Why? You guys know how much I love stray kids. You guys, if you guys follow my channel up until now, you guys know stray kids are amazing and I love them. <sighs> either, either way, if they weren't like... I don't understand how somebody can wish bad upon somebody like that. Like, you want to put laser in their eyes so they can be permanent blind? Like, why? Why would you want to do that? What do you have to gain from doing that? <sighs> this is so effed up, guys. So effed up. There are some mean people in this world that have nothing else better to do with their lives than to attack celebrities and idols. Leave them alone. They need a life too. All right, guys. Well, after this, I am going to go watch something Um, right now that's going to make me happy because this just really 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 made my blood boil and it really upset me really did all right guys well if you enjoyed my reaction to this video you guys already know what to do subscribe to my channel like this video and also leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or any other videos that you guys want me to do well until next time fam later